Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsus and welcome back to Factorio. And uh, we are in part three of our build up towards the uh, rocket silo. Uh, and what we have achieved here on the minimap looks quite distinctive. Um, we have basically a belt, a bus going around our production facility and by the speed of progress that we are making here probably we will not get to the rocket silo in this episode but we will definitely get to the point where we have a bit more than just the bare raw resources that we have covered last time and we did leave a gap here in the middle and if i remember correctly that was for solid fuel because uh, we produce solid fuel out of the, the petroleum now well, let's have a look at our recipes yeah here we have it uh, so let's start with with that one and then see how we can add things to it i think one of the main parts will be the the circuit production um which we will need kind of on the bus but uh, i'm not yet sure where to where to place it because if you followed last episode uh plan was to uh, uh, put down the rocket silo here in the middle and then basically have the factory uh, kind of like a, a spiral going around uh, towards the middle so towards the middle we should have the, the more the, the products that are closer to the actual thing uh, so let's have once again a look at this uh, we need six uh, chemical plants. We don't use any uh, beacons here, but chemical plants have three speed modules each. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll put this in. Um, I think yeah for that output red belt is fast enough um we will output here middlewise then down here we'll have this we need to use a bit of underground for distribution and I think one substation here will cover everything yes and then we can bring this up to here and then put it on the bus there and we need the solid fuel in order to produce our uh, rocket fuel and we have to mix that with uh, with a bit of uh, of uh, petroleum gas so I think the petroleum gas comes in here so the factory will be a bit on on this side but as rocket fuel is not uh, a basic product but kind of uh, one of the ingredients for the for the uh, rocket parts we will have that probably a bit more towards the middle which means we'll snake this around here um, 
to the end or the end as we have it for now and just see where that goes so let's see what else we need uh, the gears we need the gears only for the for the radars which we need for the um, for the um, for the satellite so I'm thinking maybe put that closer um, toward the uh, actual radio uh, radar because maybe we can then do direct insertion because the gears are not needed anywhere else um, and uh, that simplifies things because then we don't need to put gears on the belt what else do we have here um, we need copper wire and we need um, quite a bit more than 60 60 that's that's two red belts so probably and if we do this by by the numbers we need those basically for the green circuits and the, the red circuits and we could have a set up where we have proper ratios of uh, uh, green circuit production and red circuit production with uh, with the, the wire production in there but i think we'll do this a bit differently have wire production first and then put the the wires on on a, on a belt and then we can feed off that belt um, for um, for our needs so in total we are producing uh, about 40 iron plates uh, worse and we need about half that amount for the wires so after we are done with the wires we probably only need um, one um, one uh, uh, lane of uh, of copper here um, so let me try this will no this will not work because we need uh, beacons on the side of the factory so it cannot go there on the on the outside which means we have to bring this in here so let's make some tunnels uh, and we have to make the tunnels in the right color so there is that and then this And we will have it. So how did we define this uh, on the on the level of the beacons? That's that's what we have to figure out. So we said three beacons for each factory. So that basically means a similar setup like we have here for the for the furnaces. So 
if we bring that up here. And after this, we should be able to have everything on the right side and get rid of, uh, of this altogether. And then have output here and Let's do it that way. Input. Then twice the output. And that's a bit too close. Because we need a beacon here. Here, a factory, and there goes this. Right. Then we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, like this. And we have to figure out uh, the situation here. Um, actually, these ones need to be upgraded. Uh, we need to have speed beacons in here. And power here. So, question is, is it four that we said we put in there? Yes, four. So, that means we have seven assembly machines producing uh, let's round this up to 70 so one assembly machine produces 10 wires per second and that's probably all we can handle here output wise um, okay let's let's do this let's do this differently because I think the uh, low-handed inserters they will not cut it and even the fast inserters they will be too slow so what we need here is stack inserters and then also for the output so that means from here to here from here to here from here to here and and here we will have output
and we will have to merge this all on one belt or actually on two red belts and a yellow one so I'm thinking two three three four for one red belt and then the other three for the second and then have this one as a, as a separate yellow belt going out here. So this is a bit complicated. I'm not sure on, on which side. Oh, let's, let's figure this out. On which side these are added. Yeah. added on the right side and we have to get kind of some kind of, of distribution um, going here but that will just not work like this so It like that bring this back down here and then here we have basically the same issue Now we have added twice on on one side, so maybe it would be a better solution, right? To have it like this. output there one there one there Do it this way. Oh, need to connect here. 
and okay uh, hmm. actually we need only one here but we should say priority output right so we that let's get rid of this one and get rid of this and then We have to figure out this needs a balance of three two two and wants to be red uh, three two two like this. For the last one, we don't need that much more, but perhaps it would be better to have a four to three instead. just remove that no it went back in here so this one wants to go there can pull that down actually we need to move the whole thing one up. We can add this properly. And maybe let's just upgrade this to red. Because we are only filling half the belt. And This one and goes to here and around our circle. And looking at the uh, recording time, that's already more than more than uh, 20 minutes. So I think I will clean this up at the the copper wires going around as well and then next time we can see how we get uh, the green red and blue circuits also in there that should not be that difficult i think because looking here there we have one red belt output um, that's a yellow belt that's a yellow belt the only tricky thing is here we need basically two red belts input so we probably cannot have this dense structure because um, we need to insert additional 
uh, copper wire into the system. But that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it and tune in when we figure out how to set up the circuits. Goodbye.